Hello and welcome again to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we are beginning our little journey on canned goods. One of the easiest and cheapest way to start putting away food for an emergency situation, natural disaster, so on and so forth. The best way that I find to do this is you have to start watching your grocery ads that come out once a week or nowadays you can download the apps right to your smartphones and you get notified of when the new apps come out and you can sit there and you can go through your your apps or your flyers and you can see what is on sale now being that we're coming into the holiday season as far as I'm concerned this is the best time of the year to buy canned goods especially vegetables and things of that sort and some soups reason being is is a lot of that is used in your holiday dinners that you're going to be doing so a lot of the retailers will run all these products on sale sometimes it's buy one get one you can get some really good deals if you have coupons or anything like that so this time of year you really want to pay attention to what is going on and being sold at your local stores now when we're talking about canned goods <clears throat> I would only really buy these from a true traditional grocery store uh, Walmart Target uh, Publix Price Chopper uh, Grand Union your kind of Kroger those kind of stores your scratch and dent stores that every city has I would stay away from them from buying for long-term food storage because they typically usually get the cans when they are towards the end of their best buy date and they also tend to have dents and rust on them which you want to stay away from you do not want to buy cans that are dented you don't want to buy cans that are bulging or have rust on them and you also want to check your dates make sure if you're buying something it doesn't expire in say a month or two and some grocery retailer hasn't pulled the product dates are very important but that is a best buy date meaning the food is the best quality that the company who you're buying it from is going to say that it is able to be used that doesn't mean it's not good there have been cans that have been opened 10 15 20 years and they do lose sometimes some of the nutritional value but as far as eating the product it is still good you want to make sure that you check and if you open a can if say you've had it and it's two years past the date you always want to open the can and you want to sit there the first thing you're going to do is smell it because you'll be able to tell a lot by just smelling the product if it doesn't smell good throw it away don't even attempt to eat it no matter how hungry you are because it could be a very bad thing <clears throat> you also want to look at the color of it look at the consistency of it see what it looks like inside now if it's the can is only let's say uh, a few months past date you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever but I'd always still just smell it I'm talking about anything from two years plus past date you really want to when you go to the grocery store you can you can really rack up on some really good deals I buy a lot of stuff when it's on sale it's buy one get one it's the easiest and the most simplest way to build any emergency pantry at all you buy in the one you put it in your regular cupboard and you put the free one in with your emergency supply now what I do is I have a running basically storeroom of food so this way here I use as I go and replace so let's say if I have 10 cans of green beans if I buy two new ones those go to the back and you have to keep rotating it just like you're running your own grocery store 
like they're supposed to do in the grocery stores, but we all know sometimes that doesn't happen. But you need to be very aware of rotating your canned goods. Now with canned goods, as I'm going to start sliding some stuff in here, you want to look for stuff like you can get like your carrots. <clears throat> you can get green beans. These are all good vegetables that you can store up. Um, I like the mixed greens. Uh, my wife isn't too crazy about them, but they are really good. You can even get canned potatoes. And if you look at some of these, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, get that to focus. That's good till December of 2022. And that's sliced potatoes. We all know potatoes in the house don't stay that long. <clears throat> Beans, any kind of beans that you like are, the, are really good because a lot with a lot of these, with 99% of this stuff, that one's good till 21. With 99% of the stuff that's on my table here that I'm going to show you, just about everything is able to be open and just eat. No cooking involved. Yeah, a lot of it would probably be better if it was hot. But there doesn't have to be any cooking involved. So if, say, you're in a blizzard or you're in a hurricane and you lose power and you don't have any way to cook, uh, the best thing is, is if you can grab a can and open it. And uh, one big thing you want to remember is you will want to make sure that you have the magic manual can opener. Because if you don't have power... Your electrical one is not going to be any good. I also picked up these from Amazon. <clears throat> Some of, if there's anybody out there in the military who might be watching. These. These are called, or actually these are made by uh, the U.S. Shelby Company. And that is a P-51 and a P-38 Army issued can opener. And you can still get these on Amazon. You get a two pack of them for eight bucks. And it comes with the key ring that you can just take and put right on your keys if you wanted to. I got mine on a carabiner that I have hooked to my backpack. So back to what we were talking about. <clears throat> There's all kinds of vegetables out there. You can get asparagus. Turn that around there. That's good till July of 2023. That's asparagus. You know, and today is November 8th of 2019. Sardines. Sardines are great. Now, something with sardines and tuna fish, all right? They do, they do have long dates on them. That one's good till the 20, 2022. And the sardines are good till... 2022 but what I would suggest is is when you're buying these is always get them in water I mean a lot of people like it with the oil and stuff but if you have to open it and eat it or if you're gonna open it and put it into something else you don't want the oil from say your um, your tuna fish or sardines or something like that you don't want to mix that in with uh, say you made a thing of macaroni or or something like that because then it's going to get the oil base from that going into your macaroni and I, it may not be that good so that's just why I just buy it right in water then you get this true flavor and it's very easy to eat right out of the can you know <clears throat> beef stew it's got everything in it you got potatoes, carrots, meat you know you open it up it's ready to go and that one is uh, August of 21. This is a good buy here. Uh, we have a store here. Uh, it's called Publix. And they run a lot of buy one, get ones. And I actually got these on a buy one, get one. So you're getting a two-pack. And you're getting a two-pack for free. So I just put two cans away for nothing. Didn't cost me anything. And this stuff, it runs pretty good. You know, I mean, it's good till the 21st. 2021 <clears throat> and these will definitely get eaten in our house 
Now we're going to get to some questionable products. The good old Vienna sausages. I used to have a buddy of mine, and uh, his nickname was uh, the Big Kahuna. And we used to go on camping and trips like that, and he always bought these things with him. And I don't know if that's going to focus. That's good till 2022. So I had to get a few of these just for him. But they're not really that bad. <clears throat> Great value. Fully cooked roast beef. You know, I mean, you just, there's just all kinds. You can just go to the store. That one's a little distorted there. It's good till the 22nd. 2022. They also make a pulled pork barbecue sauce. And we get into everybody's favorite, Spam. Now, a lot of people talk about Spam. Now, I will say eating it right out of the can wouldn't be my favorite thing to do. But then again, if you're going to have nothing to eat, opening up a can of Spam, because they all come with their little signature little pins, and this one actually has a pull top. Uh, I don't think you can see it. has a pull top. <clears throat> Years ago, they had the little pins, and you had to unwind them. But these things are good until 2022. And if you could have a way to fry them, that's the best. My wife definitely does not want this unless it's a last resort item. <clears throat> a good one are these little hams. And it is basically, it's a fully cooked ham. And there's nothing in it but ham and water besides your preservatives but the best thing is look at the date on that I get that to tell me. 2024 and these will run you about three and a half four bucks at Walmart you know a lot of this stuff I, I get at Walmart you know the beef stews you know, they run you about a buck fifty. Sometimes they have them on sale, a little less. Uh, these are like two dollars and change. Uh, Vienna sausages are real cheap. Uh, vegetables and stuff, I mean, right now they've got everything marked basically 50 cents a can. They've reduced the prices, at least where I'm at, down to 50 cents a can, with the exception of the asparagus, which is still a dollar eighty-eight. But that's not bad. Now, if you have kids and stuff, you know, kids are a little finicky. They may like the Vienna sausages and everything. So if you have kids and you're, you're going to be putting up some stuff in the house, you want to make sure that, you know, you throw some stuff in there for the kids. I don't know a kid that doesn't like beefaroni. I still like beefaroni. Beefaroni is great. And it's great for kids. You know, they can open it up and... Uh, I'd, I've ate it right out of the can before. Tastes just as good, you know. Um, Hormel chili. You know, if your kids like chili, you can get beans, no beans. I just happen to buy the no beans because my wife doesn't like beans. <clears throat> uh, any type of Campbell's chunky soup. Everything is in there. It's all ready to go. It's you open it and dinner served. And they have a pretty decent shelf life. This one is to August 2021. You know, and you're getting 12 grams of protein per can. You just can't beat that. Campbell soups. Now, with Campbell soups, I'm I'm not a big fan of Cam Campbell's just eating it out of the can and stuff, but you know, the tomato soups, if you had a cream of mushroom, cream of celery, one of those, um, and you had to throw something together with one of these products, if you had a cream of mushroom, you could do, you could do tuna fish with it, you could do chicken with it, you could, if you wanted, you can cut up the spam and do that with it, you do have ham, you can make something right there with that, you know, I mean... You get a lot of different varieties out of it, but just for soup itself, I prefer the Campbell's Chunky. Um, <clears throat> now we're gonna get cover a couple of things. Tomatoes. 
Now I do have some cans of sauce on hand, but I find it better to buy either the diced tomatoes, because if you had to, you could crush these down with something if you wanted to make a sauce if you needed to. But it's just good to have something chunky, so say if you were putting something together with your, your tuna or your chicken, ham, whatever, that you could make something up real quick, you know? Crushed tomatoes, you know, and, and these things, I mean, they got a good shelf life on them, 2022. You, you just can't go wrong. You know, I, the biggest thing is, if you're gonna go out and you're gonna spend money, you wanna make sure that you're spending money when you're buying anything for your emergency supply backup for whatever it's going to be for, buy at least 90% of what you will eat and then buy the other 10% that you would only eat if you were giving no other choice. A lot of people out there just don't understand this concept. They think they just have to buy just, you know, a lot of people only like just green beans, you know. Well, after a while, if the power's down and you've had a hurricane or a blizzard and it's going to be a week or two before you can get out, or you can get to a store or anything else, eating just green beans, you're gonna get pretty old. So you wanna mix it up. You wanna have some carrots, mixed greens, some asparagus, peas. You know, you wanna, you wanna mix it up a little bit. Even if you don't like those things, I'm not saying you have to buy a case of them, but make sure you have a variety of different foods because if you're put into a situation where it's going to come down to I can't get back out and I can't get to the store, the stores are closed, the store is gone, whatever the situation may be, you want to make sure that you have an ample enough food on hand that you can eat. And now another thing you want to also t try to pay attention to is serving size. Now we're going to really talk about serving sizes later on in another video, but I just want to give you an example. This one can, okay, this is a 20 ounce can, all right? It's one pound, four ounces of beef stew, all right? Now, if I can get this to zoom in, come on, baby. Eh, it doesn't really want to cooperate. You got to love it. Anyways, the serving size in this is one cup. All right. Now, if you're in a situation where the power's out and and uh, you don't have a way to replenish the food that you have on hand, and you have no idea how long it's going to be out, and that you're not going to be able to get somewhere to re start replenishing some of your food, you really want to look at your situation and what happened, and you really want to start looking at these serving sizes on all your containers and everything. Because the serving size is one cup. The servings per this container is two and a half servings. So this should feed two people at least as a serving. Or if, it's, if you're one person, that's two and a half servings. So you could get, I would say, two meals out of that for a dollar what is it, 88 at Walmart? So this could be your lunch and dinner, if you think about it this way. You know, you really start to have to really, uh, when things really happen, you really have to start really thinking about, you have to change your mindset. This isn't a smorgasbord, you're looking at all this food and you can just go at it and you know, it's a Denny's buffet or, or uh, you know, something like that, you know. You have to, ration what you have to make sure that it's going to last and make sure that in the end you have enough food for you and your family until either help arrives or you can get out to replenish your own food. Having canned goods on hand is probably one of the best and easiest things that you can do. It is by far the cheapest um, that you get the most nutrition out of. And like I said, right now with it coming into the holiday season, if you pay close attention to all your local ads, 
I would highly suggest that you download the apps for any grocery store that's around you, your major stores, because you will get, you'll know before it even comes out. I know with like my Publix ad, uh, I get notified, I can see the ad before it comes out. So I see it on like on Tuesday, and it comes out Thursday, but it's right on the app. You know, I mean, you can set up your grocery list right on the app. You can search for coupons. There is just so much that you can do that is out there nowadays. It's not like years ago when you'd flip through the Sunday paper and just look for coupons and that's all you got. Now with the internet, there's so many places where you can get coupons. Um, so many stores offer coupons on certain products already. You just have to clip it in their app and then when you go up and you put your either if you have a card or a lot of places do it by your phone number you put your number in and it takes whatever you clip but you have to take the time to do it people really need to sit down and look at what how much money they are spending per week if you really sit down and look and see what you are doing and you take 30 minutes to go through some of your apps at the stores that you try that you shop at and that you trust and you go through those and you clip the coupons that they have in there on products that you're going to buy and you may get some really good deals on top of that you know technology for this part is very well and it is very good there is so much out there it's not even funny and it's changing constantly because everybody is competing for everybody's business now it's not like years ago when you just had your few set huge grocery stores. Now you have all kinds of grocery stores. You know, around me you got you have Publix, you have Winn Dixie, you have Earth Fair, you have Walmart, you have Target, you have Sam's, BJ's, um, Costco. You got all these places are all competing for your hard-earned dollars, and. Like I said, that is a hard-earned dollar, so you want to spend it wisely to get your biggest bang for your buck. On that, we're going to conclude this session on canned goods. We may come back and revisit it, though, so I can show you maybe how you can mix things together to make some quick meals, but that will be later down the road. My name is Charles. I thank you for watching my video I thank you for subscribing and if you would just please just click the like button the share the subscribe button if you would hit that little bell over there so you get notified when I do another video and till next time catch you on the flip side